next up, we have the one and three Cleveland Browns taking on the three and one Washington Commanders. Right now, the Commanders are a three and a half point favorite. Mark, give me three keys of how the Washington Commanders can win this game. Well, number one, the uh, Washington offense needs to keep on rolling. Like they've scored 80 points in the last two weeks. They keep that up, they're going to win this game. Number two, Cleveland is riddled with injuries right now. Um, they have three on the offensive line alone. Five offensive starters didn't even practice Wednesday. I don't know how many of those guys are even going to play. Um, three, three of my last key, Cleveland's offense doesn't have much juice to beat any team right now. They really don't. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, the Cleveland Browns are just kind of of a shell of themselves, right? So Mark is saying, keep on, keep it on in, in Washington. Keep that offense rolling. 80 points the last two games. Actually, Mark, wasn't it like zero punts or zero turnovers in those two games as well? Like they've been... They've been that and then also um Jane Daniels has had an 80 plus percentage completion rate. So dude's just they're just balling. Yeah, something crazy. He also says the Browns are hurt. So if take advantage of that injured offensive line, and also there's no juice, there's no mojo happening in Cleveland right now. So the I think guys, my keys to the Browns could potentially win this game versus the uh, Washington Commanders right now is to force Jaden Daniels into mistakes. Like Mark said, Jaden Daniels has been the most efficient, efficient quarterback so far this season. He has a completion, completion percentage over 80%. Just not the last few games, the whole season he is over 80%. Along with the 80% plashing, passing completion, he just has one interception. So he is making good decisions, he's making good throws, and they're catching the ball. So I want the Cleveland Browns defense to put pressure on on him and take away that short passing game. I want you to send five, six, seven guys every snap. Every snap, send a blitz. Send five, six, seven guys every play. We were talking about earlier this offseason, Mark. The Browns have one of the top back four in a uh, back four secondary in the NFL. Let's see some one on one as well. Press them and let the front seven eat. Pressure Jaden Daniels into mistakes. Number two, red zone defense. One of the biggest Achilles heels for the commander so far this season has been red zone play. So I want the Browns to be sure to hold them to field goals if they get into the red zone. So far this season, the, the, the commanders have a 50% touchdown rate in the red zone. Mark, that is 17th in the NFL. That's not even the top half. Keep them out of, the, out, of, out, of, out of the end zone, and you will win this game. Let's flash back to a couple weeks ago. They were down in, down in the in the red zone seven times versus the Giants, settled for seven field goals. Ultimately won that game, but they should have lost. So you forced them out of the end zone. It could potentially cause Jaden Daniels to start forcing some balls because he wants to find that end zone over and over and over again. And my third key is to find Deshaun Watson's mojo. Where is Deshaun Watson's mojo? That is the question. Deshaun Watson has yet to break 200 yards this season, but last week he did have a 75% completion rate versus the Las Vegas Raiders. The Browns are still without Nick Chubb going into this week, so I need Deshaun Watson to take over this game. I need him to have flashes like he did in Houston back in 2018-2017. No more of this nickel and diamond crap. The Browns have one of the top receiving cores in the AFC. Let's use it. Find Deshaun Watson's mojo. And would the real Deshaun Watson please stand up? So the keys for the Browns this week is to force mistakes. Force Jaden Daniels to make some mental mistakes. Red zone defense. Keep, an out, keep the commanders out of the end zone. And Deshaun Watson. Would the real Deshaun Watson please finally stand up? So, guys, in the comments below, wow emoji for the Browns, hard emoji for the Commanders. Mark, who do you got win this game and why? Uh, I got to go Washington. I just think that they're playing so hot right now. You know, um, I'm the type of guy that when I'm picking games or I'm, like, picking guys for my fantasy, I always go for the hot hand. So, I'm going Washington. Yeah, and honestly, it is at Washington. It's at the nation's capital. The crowd's going to be wild. It's going to be crazy. One o'clock in the afternoon, the strike is officially over at like all the ports. So everybody's back working, going to be back partying. 
without Nick Chubb, Mark, I don't have any faith faith in the like in the Browns at all. I don't know where Deshaun Watson's at. I don't know where this offense is at. Hell, I don't know where the defense is at, right? Where has Miles Garrett been? <laughs> yeah. I, I agree with you about Deshaun Watson too. Like where has he been, man? Yeah. I I, I gotta go with the Washington Commanders as well matters as well. As hurt as much as that hurts hurts me to say, I gotta go with the commanders. Wow, wow, wow. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump up in the comments and see what the people are saying. John is picking the Commanders. Commanders, Kevin says, damn it, Jimmy had one job to do. Take out the damn trash. Take out the damn trash. Lou Man says, Washington football team is going to win this game. Jim Powell is dropping down the heart emoji. And Alpha Rob brings out this fire. Put those gats away, Alpha Rob. But he says, Washington wins until Cleveland benches Watson. Mark? We actually had a conversation about this, not like you, but the the, the man hour crew about a potential trade between Trevor Lawrence and Deshaun Watson straight across the field. Maybe they both just need new chains of scenery. Do the Cleveland Browns need to bench Deshaun Watson if he doesn't break 200 yards and just was bad this like this week? I mean, this is looking like the all time worst trade, which I'm kind of glad for because then it makes the Russell Wilson trade not look so bad. Um, <laughs> So this is looking really terrible for Cleveland, you know. Um, they're giving this guy all this guaranteed money. He he's like he's like a shell of the former player that he was once was. So, what what do you do as a franchise? Like you're paying him all this money. Like he's not playing well. Like I don't know what you do. Do you throw in Jameis? Like that trade is very interesting. Them him to Jacksonville, you know. I don't think that'll ever happen. But I don't know, man. I the whole different Sean Watson thing. I kind of don't understand but like i told you last week like it's just he lost his confidence this whole all the allegations he lost his confidence man he's not that guy anymore yep gotta gotta find that mojo gotta find that mojo john is taking the commanders all day as well kevin is taking washington as like as well and it says in order to win the division they have to win this game so kevin thinks washington commanders are going to win the division and he's been on this since about june he says commanders 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 uh, Jim says the artists formerly known as the Redskins are way too much for the stains. Where is the 2023 defensive player of the year? Not wrong. Not wrong. And Kevin says, if the Browns want to win, get Washington Watson to a massage parlor. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh, but, but it's, but it's true. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's true. Um, Kevin also Kevin also says it could be in Cleveland and Washington would still win. Potentially. Derek says pigs in skirts scared dogs. Taking the Browns, I guess. <laughs> and Alpha Rob says not even the Jags want that crazy. <laughs> Listen, when, when we talk about the Jags <laughs> coming up, up, up here, guys, I might shock you all. I might shock you all. But in the comments below, guys, Browns, wow emoji, Commander's heart emoji. Let us know. Let us know. Let us know. 